All right, new this morning, learn, dream, live, and run are all four words that this new all-girls camp embodies to the fullest. Oh, I just love that. So special. Those are awesome. Spencer Thomas is live in South Burlington telling us all about it. Hey, Spence. Hey, good morning, everyone. Yes, that's right. So we're live here in South Burlington. We're talking all about that new girls camp coming to Vermont today, starting today, throughout the rest of the week. That is Camp Girls on the Run. We're here with a very special coach. This is Amelia. So Amelia, you have a great story. Yeah. And you started with Girls on the Run when you were in fifth grade, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about that experience, why yeah. you started. So fifth grade was the first year that Girls on the Run was offered at my school, Shelburne mm -hmm. Community School. And my mom was one of the head coaches and it was her first experience running and diving into the whole volunteering community um, and the girls on the run community and then I continued to coach for six years as a junior coach and this year was my first year as a head coach really cool. which is a really fun experience. Um, I'm going to Castleton next year oh, for early childhood education. Thanks great. to girls on the run it's created such a home for me and it was really fun this year to have that um, responsibility as a head coach this year and you get to be with the girls all the time. Absolutely and so um, will this be the first time you're taking part in the camp aspect? Yes it is. Okay. I'm very excited for that. I'm excited to have girls on the run in the summer. The spring is my favorite time of the year. It just gets you in such a good mood. You're getting just as much out of the lessons as the girls are, if mm -hmm. not more, because you're getting all of their energy and emotions too. I bet. And it's so fun to work with them. I couldn't be more excited. Good, good. And so, you know, as a fifth grader, can you tell yeah. me what you took away from it? What these girls are going to experience? Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah. I've been in coaching mode for so long. Right. Um, but from all of the lessons this year, like, I've learned such good strategies to work with my friends and my family and my mom. Mm -hmm. um, and just the support you get from everything, you come out feeling a lot better and you've got your head on your shoulders a little bit better than you did in the beginning and you just have a strong sense of self by the end of it. So Absolutely. I think it's super special for them to get that and for them to get the recognition that they're not alone in what they're going through and the good that they're experiencing too. Right, and that's such an important age yes. too, to it's really, crucial. really learn mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And yeah. you know, by the end of the week, they're actually going to be um, running a 5K, right? Not this week. Not so this the five K is part of the summer or the spring, the spring program. Okay. Yep. But you guys are doing a lot of running. We are. Yeah. Okay. We're doing almost equal parts of running okay. and activities and crafts in the camp. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on with us today. Such an amazing story and such an amazing thing you're doing here. Mm -hmm. So you guys, this is Amelia, a coach for this week's Camp Girls on the Run. Thank you again for being thank on with you. us. We're going to be here live on the Morning Brew all morning, so you guys are going to have to stay with us out there. So for now, live here in South Burlington, Spencer Thomas, back to you ladies at the studio.